Kokomo Grain uh, is a family organization started in about 1950. My father at the time was in the Marine Corps and when he left the Marines after uh, oh, about 1952, he joined uh, Kokomo Grain in that old feed mill with 14,000 bushels of space and it wasn't long before he could see a bigger future than what they could see. So over the course of time, he bought out the partners, built Kokomo Grain as it is today. We went from 14,000 bushels in an old beat up uh, 19th century uh, feed mill uh, to what we are now, which is nine locations with uh, 54 million bushels of space. So it's, it's been quite a testament to his vision. We try to stand out uh, from our competition because we all handle the same thing, corn, beans, and wheat. So we stand by our three core principles. So that would be service, strength, and integrity. Dad always said, if you don't take care of the customer, no one's going to ever take care of you. I would say just the, the overall changing dynamic of the grain market is, is something that really affects how we do business as far as we never know what the prices are going to be. It's hard to budget. It's hard to, to try and predict what your line needs are going to be. And so there's just, there seems to be a challenge every year as far as what that grain market is going to be and again how much money you're going to need to get through the year. That's why our relationship with commerce, I think, is, is so strong because they're ready to adapt, they're ready to react, and you know, if I all of a sudden need additional funds or an extension, uh, they're right there ready for us. Commerce Bank and Kokomo Grain, that's a, a, a good fit in our opinion. I go back to service, strength, and integrity. I think those three things uh, describe Commerce Bank as well. We think it's important to have a relationship that lasts and stands the test of time. And I think our relationship with Commerce Bank speaks to that.